I hate Elden Ring. Well, almost. Let's go back to the beginning. I attempted Elden Ring back in 2022. As someone who's never touched a Souls game before, I shrugged it off after 17 hours of pain and suffering. I turned to my friend and I says to them, I says, fellas, this game isn't for me. I'm not good enough for a Souls-like. This is the same reason I quit playing Star Wars The Fallen Order. It's a Souls-like, I'm not a good gamer. But you know what I am? I'm an achievement hunter. So after message, after message, after message, after message, after message, after message, I said, fine. To prove I hate Souls-like games, I will 100% Elden Ring, to show I will still dislike it at the end. And who knows, my first time playing I made it to Godric, the second main story boss. As a matter of fact, let's watch some clips I had from 2022. Whoa, 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 what the fuck, Cameron? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Cameron. You could've, you could've just gone up the mountain and down. It jumped way further than I did. Yo, yo. He just hit me with it. That one was that one just fucking slid. Oh, hi guys. Cam. I'm speechless. Fellas, <laughs> Fellas and then you just walked off. Oh, oh. <laughs> the dude behind me blew it up. <laughs> the dude behind me blew it up. No! Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> you have a horn? Why would you- No, they're coming out of the trees. You don't gotta fight them. <laughs> Bro, you really don't. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so yeah, I was a little out of my element, but let's not dwell on the past. Let's shape the future. And so, our journey begins. And number one on the dock is to sleep the grafted scion to assert dominance early on. Uh, okay, you were meant to lose that fight anyway, that doesn't mean anything. After getting slept, a baddie fortune teller on an equestrian pulls up and gives me the stamp of approval. Wow, female attention. They know how to keep gamers engaged. I walked out of the doors into the world. <laughs> and wow. Uh, uh, these graphics are so bad. I hate this game, and a glowing tree will not change that. With gritted teeth, I spoke to the white masked twat, where he proceeded to call me maidenless. <laughs> We'll see who has the last laugh. And that, kids, is called foreshadowing. On my quest to assert dominance, I for sure on purpose challenged the Tree Sentinel to impress Merchant Calais, one of my favorite NPCs in this godforsaken game. Let me rest, Santa! <laughs> I proceeded north to take a rest after my brutal victory, where this hooded figure, Melina, says, Hey, you're so cute, I'll be your maiden. <laughs> They'll show that white masked little bitch. She also gave me her trusty stallion, like they didn't have years of history. Named Torrent. I'm calling him Pongo, bitch. My steed brought me to the next lady for my harem, Little Red Riding Wood, who for sure is not going to be an important character. But to make her feel better, I sat with her, because mirroring body language shows interest. But I kept a distance because, of course, I am a gentleman. With two girls quickly under my belt, I felt like a demigod myself. So much so, in my wandering, I accidentally stumbled upon the first boss of the game. Margaret, and it went as well as you would expect. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to walk into the boss battle. No, <laughs> fuck me. I was looking for something. I was looking for something. Oh my god, he's throwing fucking shurikens. <laughs> I was slept so quickly. I will get stronger. I'll show them who the real god is. So I proceeded on my journey for strength. I know what I must do. I must head to Kaled and flail the dragon to death, which I forgot to record, but let's pretend this is me. Now I just need the weapons of my choice for my build. But on the way, I met a girl named Millie. She, for some reason, brought a friend. <laughs> okay, what, what, what are you doing? Yo, why is she spinning like that? After picking up my pride, unlike my runes, I headed towards a smoldering church to farm the enemies with my weapons. Which I also forgot to record, sorry about that. But just know I killed like 50 of these guys and took their head and weapons. I don't mean the mask, I mean their actual head, it's in my backpack. But before I could do that, I had another friend who wanted to come and play. I decided no, I'm gonna take my faith in my own hands. I got ready to throw myself off. Then I got stunlocked and anticlimatically fell off. But she came with me, so that works too. I then headed into the forest to find a map fragment so I can actually see any part of my map and a cookbook so I can make some stew for myself and my horse Pongo. What do you mean I have to call him Torrent? Ah, um, okay, that is a cool name. So cool, in fact, that every creature around wants to be his friend. Look. Ah! For some weird reason, everyone in this game wants to be my friend, so if they keep joining my world and try to spar with me, I decided I'm not afraid anymore. With my new weapons and face, I will be victorious. I wandered along and found another lady who wanted to join my harem, but she was in distress. She was robbed by some thug north of her. She needed her items to be retrieved. 
which is such a coincidence because I just recently robbed a girl in the woods. But luckily we find out I'm not the thug in question. <laughs> but that's a story for another time. Uh, for some reason this dude had cannonballs for fist and they hit hard as hell. And they go hard as hell, they're fucking badass. After destroying him with the might of my deck spears that also swings slow as hell, she said she will repay me later in Volcano Manor and then give me a wink. <laughs> Whatever that means. After trying to do anything but actually fight the bosses in the game, I wandered into Caria Manor. The game must have known I was scared, so they decided to give me a hand. I can see I'm not wanted, so I go back to hang out with real friends, who are always there for me. Uh, I don't oh. know, but that's why I <laughs> I oh, God. I'm sick of all this violence and fighting. I think I know what this game's actually about. I saw a shiny thing, and so with my little grabby hands, I decided to go after it. But on my last jump, I guess my finger decided it was tired, and I didn't feel like jumping again. Which is fine, because it ended up being a shortcut to the boss. I told him I'll be back in 10 minutes, and then I predict I'll knock him out in round 2. But this motherfucker was dancing around the ring when I was trying to throw haymakers. This made me mad, so I put him in the corner and threw punches that Tyson couldn't dream of. The refs were begging me to stop, but I couldn't hear them over all that shattering of crystals, and he couldn't hear because I bit off his ears. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> like Tyson? Now that I'm for sure overpowered and overleveled for the first boss, I'll all there is to do is sleep him in two hits. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, chill. My medicine, it tastes bitter. Why does his grandfather motherfucker swing so slow? I mean, who actually needs to heal when you have skill? Okay. I decided maybe I shouldn't be too greedy and take my strike strategically. And with that, I barely pull it off. Excuse me? Who taped knives on the bottom of these birds' feet? I found another friend with a cool hat. Hey, I found my friend that let me in the castle. He was just stalking me and making sure I'm safe. What a sweet boy. I found the grafted scion and I hid in fear in the remembrance of what he did to me in the beginning. I then found out what happens to gamers when they go outside. Back to the boss who made me quit two years ago. The boss I never got below half. I guess there's only one thing left to do now. Go explore and avoid my impending failure. I beat this imprisoned pumpkin head outside and cleared Fort Height. Ooh, medallion. <gasps> I just so happen to have the other half of this. I was riding my trusty steed and I heard howling. There were no wolves chasing me. I can't see anything hiding. Where's it coming from? Is that a wolf man? So I left him alone because he's obviously warning me of danger because he's a good wolf. Oh, I found a new friend, Kenny. Get this, he has the same last name of the fort I just raided. <laughs> oh, he wants me to clear, oh. Oh yes, I'll, uh, well I kind of already, I, I knew that quest was there, so I was just being efficient. All in a day's work. With the power of friendship, I mustered the strength to mend the medallions together, giving me access to the Altus Plateau. Hey, you're doing that before the second boss? Yeah. Yeah, don't ask questions. I learned my lesson and ran away from two, count them, two tree sentinels, and collected my seed and spread some seed and took a rest. I decided while I'm here, I should embrace the beautiful scenery and enjoy the autumn leaves. And then, a giant arrow from a golem killed me. This dude thinks he's King Midas. He don't got that touch. Why are all these geezers swinging so slow? It's jarring. Homie's so mad I got him to half, he made a dragon a victim. <laughs> he's got a bunch of little Deadpool baby hands. But I appreciate the gesture. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Let me go. <laughs> After all these years, I will have my revenge. I will make you kneel. I have the golden touch and you will bow down to your king. Hey, I did it. I was probably over leveled, but I did it either way. I was on top of the world. I could destroy anything. I remembered a mini boss from the start of the game. So there's no time like the present. So I walked in, prepared myself for the fight of my life and Oh, okay. That was supposed to be done way earlier. I, I understand. Okay, fine. Another mini boss I fought before. I remember struggling a little bit, so let's do this thing. Oh. Well, that was easy. Okay, well, uh... Oh, yeah, here we go. A rune bear. Time for my revenge. I thought we were friends, but you betrayed me twice and it's my turn. Okay, I, I chunked a little hard, but he beat my ass too, so it was only fair. I then went to restore the power of the Great Rune, a feature I will almost always forget to use. I moved on and found this red wolf. I didn't want to fight him, but Blythe can be the only wolf in my life, so I had to sadly put him down. Again, may have been over leveled, but don't worry, it'll smooth out eventually, I'm sure. I journeyed forward and found an ugly crab that was trying to hurt me, so I hired a hitman to do all the work for me. All in a day's work. I continue on to this long staircase. <laughs> Why is the ball following me? So I found a knight that wouldn't let me hit it, and actually assassinated me. That's embarrassing. I, I guess it could be worse. Damn it, I gotta do the fucking stairs again. Now time for my get back. 
I decide to go the old fighting game route and spam the attack until he perishes under the wrath of my spears. And this indeed will be my strat for everything now. I walked to the library and saw some books, some cool stuff, stuff for my nightmares. These 50 year old looking babies crawling around and singing to me. And when I say I was confused at the objective and started just slaying anything I could, straight up taking books to the back of the head like I just reminded the teacher we were supposed to have homework, and walking straight past the one singing, the one that's indicated by a glowing orb. Ah, but don't worry, I figure it out eventually. I proceed to forget to lock on, and then have to go another round. I continued the battle in the most beautiful arena I've ever seen. I, it's still a bad game though, I swear. She threw a fucking moon at me and had homing missiles hunt me like a dog. <sighs> I'll be right back. Okay, let's try this again. She is full of grace, so her weakness is aggression. So I'll sprint at her and not give her room to breathe. But her magic is so enchanting, I can't hurt her. No, no, I must. This is a bad game. She must be destroyed out of spite. I can't focus on her summon. She is my target. But damn, she's good at making space. If I can just find my opening. Just like that, she was gone. The achievement is mine. But why am I sad? No matter. It's time to move on. Time for sweet revenge. I will destroy this draconic tree sentinel, but I gotta admit, I despise horseback combat in this game. It feels very clunky, at least with the weapons I have, they are not made for it. But if he has a horse, I want one too to keep up. Let's go, Pongo. I'm torrent. Fuck. This is more than jousting this time. It is to the death. Oh, why is he shooting fire? Wait, that's my horse time out! Okay, so I'll come back to him later. <laughs> okay, okay, falling star beast. <laughs> Is that a fucking bull with pincers? And it casts lightning? What do you mean? Okay, this battle came down to the teeth. I had to use three flasks on the way here, but I bide my time and I come out with a win. We are so back, baby. Now, rumor on the street is, there's a witch who wants to join my harem as top girl. Oh, I guess you could say she's my bottom witch. The only thing I had to do was save her from the ghost knight rider. And after waiting patiently to find my opening and dying two times that I'm not gonna show you, I slayed her. What a shame. She would have made a fine addition. I'm sure that's all this stupid witch wants. She won't send me on a long quest line. That would be silly. But I got cold feet meeting her. I mean, she is a witch after all, so get my confidence back. I went to go fight another mini boss. I then made my way into an Evergoal to send bulls, <laughs> ugly bulls, back to Avernus just because I can. I explored more and found a guy. A friend, even, who really wanted to show me his favorite tree. <laughs> yeah, it's really pretty. I like gold, too. You know, I've been invaded countless times. It's my turn. I am. The one who knocks. I will end him before he can even realize what's going on. And he, oh, why is he earthbending? Why is he hitting me so hard? But with my trusty jump attack, I secure the bag. And the bag being his head. I, I want it. I want it. Put it in my pocket. Little did I know his brother would come to my ends and try to retrieve the head of his fallen family. But I know what he was really here for. My sacred tear. So I sprinted to protect my precious. I asked him to politely wait while I put on some mood lighting before I f while I laugh and laugh. Another head for my collection. I think it's time for therapy. Went on to find this little white mass twat again. I was ready to give him a piece of my mind, but he made me an offer I couldn't refuse. He says to me, he says, how would you like to be unique? I've never been unique a day in my life. I says to him, I'm listening. He says to me, he says, what if instead of a boring 10 fingers, what if you had nine? That's one less than I have now. You get to keep the finger in your pocket. And to sweeten the deal, I'll give you a badge. Like in Pokemon? Yeah, yeah, like in Pokemon. I heard enough. Do it, Doc. I decided it's time to destroy this horse girl once and for all, no matter how many times it takes. <laughs> Yo, who gave him fire and lightning? Pick one! Torrent needs a break, I'll do this on my own. Torrent? I need help. Yeah, quick question, why the hell would I need to scroll over to yes if I want to use my horse in the middle of combat? I don't care about the cost. Take my nine remaining fingers, just give me my equestrian. All was bleak. I didn't know if I could ever do this. I don't know if I could see this through. It was death after death and something amazing happened. I got stuck on top of him. No, I got stuck underneath him. I couldn't move, but he was stuck using lightning in the distance, so I was just taking free shots on him. This wasn't my fault. This was the game. The game is wonky. It's a fair win. I did nothing wrong. I continue on to find this little deer knight mob. Okay. <laughs> Ah, uh, he hits kind of hard. <laughs> oh, oh, he's got some decent health. <laughs> I guess it's like a mini boss after all. <laughs> oh, okay, it can fly. All right, <laughs> Rudolph, one of B type shit. What do you mean that was a normal enemy? Little did I know what was up ahead. My old friend that I've slain two times now. So I can't take a hit. Hey, look, she brought dogs that are running my shit. Did I mention the downside of this hefty jump attack? It's easily interrupted. And even when I lock on, it's very easy to miss if you're not lined up. <laughs> Who knew? But I do slay her for the third and hopefully final time. Then I found this weird baby bird head skull thing, and it likes to yell at me like that uncle who's had too much to drink. But I had the spectral lance thing I want to try, so I threw it in his eye. And by doing that, I blessed everyone's eyes for never having to look at it again. I found a cool looking dragon, and decided I cannot be the mother of all dragons, so I had to put it down. I used Torrent to close the gap and take advantage of its hind legs so it can't bite me with those beautiful teeth. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> 
Wait, no, I'm having fun. No, no, I hate this game. It's bad and the dragon is bad. Which brings me to today's sponsor. Bad So I died to this grandma bird who just wanted to give me kisses. So that was sweet. I wasn't mad. I stumbled upon a bearded dragon with wings and a sword. For some reason, it breathes fire, which is actually how my bearded dragon acted too. His name was Puff. You know, after Puff the Magic Dragon. Puff the Magic Dragon lived by the sea. But after it started blowing fire at me, I decided it probably wouldn't work out. So I also slayed it with two sword spears. That was 100% a true story. Every last detail. I decided to keep it in the reptile family and fight another cool dragon. But apparently I was giving it the works and it must have been real scary because it flew away. Probably just going to get milk or something. It'll be back. So I decided to take my anger out on this poor fisherman, and nothing would distract me from rocking his goddamn boat. Pause. I found the creepiest and funniest mini-boss I've ever seen. A cat with the face of a gargoyle. I assumed I was overleveled, so I neglected healing, and that was a mistake. So I played it smarter and took all nine lives, but not its soul because that was taken ages ago. I then took on two of these spunk spear and mobs that are just normal mobs found in Kaelid, but there's two of them, so it counts as a mini-boss. I found a Yu-Gi-Oh character with a cool weapon. I don't know, I didn't see the movie. But I wanted the weapon that I would never use, so I beat the brakes off him. I got a call from my bottom witch that she she was trapped in her tower. So I asked her if she's ever seen Shrek before, because that was actually a plot point. Uh, but then she hung up, so I headed over anyway. But my intimidating demeanor made the beast flee. Please let me finish the fights. Uh, I still hate this game though, I swear. I always keep it in the family and found Puff's twin sister, Muff, and I was ready to dive in. A and to another victory, of course. I found a demi-human posing as a queen, so I had to put her down. But not before missing the critical hit by clipping a rock. And oftentimes it won't let me hit the animation anyway. I don't know if something's wrong with my controller at times, but she's gone, so who cares? I decided to fight this freshly 18 falling star beast. I mean, I'm everything in my past, why would this be any different? So, I decided to leave and come back later. I found another queen that Elizabeth wouldn't approve of, so I sent them to her to deal with. I made my way to Volcano Manor, surprising lack of lava burning my toes. But I found a white mass baddie. What she wants me to do her dirty work. Hey, I found my hunchback maiden that was robbed, and she told me she wants me right now. I declined. I told her I have a job to do, but she should order the posture corrector I recommended. The Twin Finger Maidens tried it, and they swear by it. I ran upstairs and found another girl begging to join my harem, but I said under one condition. She knows I've dreamt of opening my own pizza place, and she has the best slicer the world's ever seen. I can finally feed the gods, but she flirtatiously said, <laughs> if you take it from me. So I slided her like a pig. I took it anyway. I don't joke about my pizza dreams. With bloodlust in my eyes and pizza in my stomach, I accidentally stumbled upon this tree spirit in an open field. I didn't sign up for it, but I wouldn't shy away from it. For someone with holy breath, that shit didn't smell good. She did indeed belly flop on me, causing me to perish, but I won't be defeated. Okay, so I choked and got gobbled up. I never said I was in the four, but I won't be defeated again. I got in the pocket and secured the victory. What the hell do you mean that's not a boss? That was just an enemy? This game is cruel, and that's why I hate it, for sure. Here, you can see me on my way to go destroy a boss. When Divine Intervention told me, I'm not ready. No, that's crazy. But I decided I was ready, and the gods could step aside because I will become the Elden Ring. <laughs> I don't want to be a lord, I want to be the ring! And so far, this fight was the hardest. What's more? He's gonna do it again. I didn't know he was gonna go around again! <laughs> I don't have all my deaths recorded because I wasn't sure how I was gonna edit this. Jokes aside, I want to get serious for just a second. This fight right here is where I understood what these games were all about. After repeatedly being murdered, Again and again and again. My anger levels were rising, but I was still learning. I felt a rhythm in my head that was almost mindless. I started predicting the attacks and learning where the openings were. This is what people mean when they say it's a rhythm kind of game. Godfrey the first Elden Lord, Omen form, made me learn and memorize his moveset. Not to the extent where I did it perfectly by any means, but I was able to dodge enough to get the job done. I mean, of course now I felt the rhythm patterns in some fights, but something specifically about this fight made me actually experience it. Maybe. Maybe this game isn't so bad after all. No. <laughs> no, that can't be right. I'm not a Souls-like player. I forget what I said, let's just move on. I journey forward to find another Rudolph wannabe, and he rocks me with a crazy combo. <laughs> I mean, what is that? But I always get my get bat. I found a squatter outside my room. I went to assassinate him, but of course I hit the wall. So we decided to dance together on the stairs. It was quite majestic and beautiful. Black Swan who? <sighs> but the fun must end. I found another worthy knight that I would give an honorable death. Our swords clashing like it was Sekiro, a game I haven't played yet, but I might play sometime. We'll see how this video goes. But someone interfered. Gravity. 
I hate that guy. This is crazy. I hate this. Remember how I said the Omen Godfrey gave me trouble? Well, it felt like I was fighting Elmer the Briar for hours. This dude summoning his blades and swinging it around, ruining this beautiful dining hall. The gall of him was not one I could let flourish. I knew my 50k runes were about to disappear before my eyes. Why didn't I spend them? Was I saving for a night with Fia? I wish it would never be with a guy like me. We'll never know, but I guess we'll see her soon. Because I got sent to the afterlife time after time. I don't know if this guy was a knight or a Jedi knight, but he was pissing me off. Where did he learn the force? And to make matters worse, I choke so hard. Don't you fucking choke! I'M GONNA KILL MYSELF! And the worst part about choking? Is you could've just been done with it. If you just timed one thing right and didn't fuck up, you could've been done with this fight long ago, but now you don't know how many more times you have to suffer and you never will know. But after many, many more times, I did secure the win and the achievement. And I don't care to fight him again. Now the moment you've all been waiting for. You've seen Godfrey. Now it's time to bring... Godfrey! With almost, if not the exact same moveset as Godric. Not to be mistaken with Godfrey. These damn names are too close. But after one failure, I come away with another fallen foe under my tight, stylish belt. I decided to do the Volcano Manor Manning's bidding. See that ten times fast? Holy shit! And slayed an old knight, who I didn't expect to be so short that I could jump over his head multiple times. Nothing wrong with the short king. Next, I accidentally stumbled upon the Godskin Noble. This guy almost destroyed me as bad as Elmer. His reach being so long and his hips being so thick, it's distracting! The reason this bugged me so much was there's such a long run back, and after doing that over and over, it started to give me a headache. I, I mean, I ran back like 10 times, until I eventually found out there's a shortcut I had to unlock, but that'll be later on. I decided to take a break after not knowing about the shortcut, and remembered I still haven't done a major story boss yet. We're done. Now, I thought this fight was pretty pretty cool, this arena was huge in a dune-like setting. And being able to pick up friends I found along the way. Hey look, the jar is here! Blythe! And them taking the aggro, it helped a lot, it was pretty cool. The only one working harder than us is fucking Radon's horse, let him breathe! I know in the lore he has some magic that doesn't hurt his horse, I don't know, shut up. I was slain the first time, but with the power of friendship, that would be my last time. Torrent! Onward! Okay, so I died one more time because all my friends died, so I didn't want to win without them, obviously. Blythe, no! You took out my best friend. I won't lose. And then I won! Hooray! Oh, and Blood was also safe. I ran back to kill this tree spirit to get the Banished Knight Oleg, which is one of the legendary Ashen of War I needed for the achievement. As you can see, I've unlocked the shortcut now for the Godskin Noble, so let's beat his ass. And it goes as well as you would expect. And after I got stabbed through a pole, I stopped recording. But I did clip when I finally beat him. And with the help of my little jelly belly putting poison in his eyes, the achievement was mine. I made my way down to the Serpent King motherfucker and decided I don't need the snake sling weapon they gave me. I'll do this on my own terms. <laughs> okay, well, okay. Well, this <laughs> the fire's a bit annoying. <laughs> okay, it's breaking my poise a lot. <laughs> okay, let's just keep... Yeah. Ooh, the damage isn't great, but <laughs> I've dealt with worse. Let's... <laughs> okay, so maybe the weapon they gave me will be better. I did it! That was easy. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's a second part. Jellyfish, help! Hey, that was still easy. And I got another achievement. I wanted to find this dude, Morgoth, who looks a lot like Margot, but <laughs> it can't be true because Margot is gone. I slayed him. My jellyfish was sad inside of his Pokeball, so I let her spray him in the face and kill him. I thought we talked about stealing the last hit. This can't stand. <sighs> I can't stay mad at you, I'll let it slide this time. I heard of a living legend named Patches from previous titles. So, I went to visit him, see what he's all about. Turns out he was a non-living legend, and he was he was gone. But he left me some clothes and a golf ball, so I bet he was a stand-up guy. At this point in the game, I wasn't sure if I entered Nokron, if I'd be able to come back to the main world. Spoiler alert, you can. So before I left, I was finally about to get even, and do all the things I couldn't do if I left. The tree sentinel had to go. I had to keep Merchant Kale safe, always. But I can't take out Ying without taking out Yang. So I went to destroy the Night Cavalry as well. Best things come in pairs, I guess, so why fight one pumpkin man if you can fight too! All that for the best shield you could ever ask for. I guess that's a face for radio. <laughs> Up top. I found another death baby skull bird, but this one was shining like a diamond in the sky. I felt Rihanna singing in my heart. I had to slay it so I could get this poker thing and they would die if I poked them with it. Now, it's finally time. It's time for me to head to Nokron, the zero gravity city, indicated by the floating rocks all over the place. Okay, no, there's still gravity. I got it. While I was down there, I ran to a Semtex stand who cosplayed as me and had all my moves and gear. Damn, I'm strong! Or am I weak? But instead of cheesing and taking away the weapons, I decided we'll both be naked drows like we were meant to be. And after a very close battle and almost dying, I decided no one could be a better me than me, and that's all me has to say about that. And I got an achievement to prove it. I found another deer knight that ran my shit, but as you know, I'll always be back for my get back. I found another duo boss fight that didn't go well the first few times, but with a little elbow grease we secured another W. And got a cool twin blade in the process, along with an achievement. Hey, a coffin! The only thing that would make this coffin better is it can get me down that giant waterfall. What the fuck? I found this undead glowing moose and played animal control to put him down. It was 
for the best. And the achievement. I doubled back to pick up the Golden Scarab, which when equipped gives you bonus runes. I didn't realize this was a duo fight because I accidentally slept them too fast. After the awful parkour that I will not make you watch, I made it to the Godskin Apostle. And if this is anything like the Godskin Noble, I'm in trouble. Oh yeah, I have a mimic now. What could be stronger than two of me? Now I'll address it now. I personally do not care if people use summons. The feature of the title added, so if you want to take advantage of it and make the game easier, no one can tell you how to play, just do it. But personally, I do try to prove myself later on that I don't need it. So stick around for that. But if I want to use it, I'm going to use it. So fucking fight me, fight me, put your hands up. After sending Slinky Man to the underground, I grabbed the Godslayer Greatsword, progress towards the all legendary weapons achievement. I moved back to Kaelid to fight the Black Blade Kindred, who's technically just an enemy with a strong moveset, but he's in my way, so he must be destroyed. After that, I was ready to knock this guy's head back, but he just wanted Death Root, so I gave him what I had, and I just never came back to him. So, yeah. After all this ping pong year round, I went back to the Deep Roots and killed this overpowered tree foe for no reason. Well, other than I had this weird urge just to burn trees down. <laughs> I'm sure it's nothing. While riding around a torrent, he felt offended seeing another horse, so I had to KO this poor fella. There could only be one. These guys were mad I was on their branch and kindly asked me to move. I mean, I don't blame them. I blame gravity. I wandered into this arena, where I actually jumped into the middle of Fia's quest, that I've yet to start. I was worried this was going to break the quest line, but it all turned out okay. So I casually destroyed her pitiful champions with the help of my mimic, because three on one, fuck you, even if I am way over leveled. Yeah, I could have done it by myself, but I want company, okay? After destroying her pitiful champions, I cuddled into her bosoms once more. Whilst climbing the tree, I lost my runes. So naturally, I went back to get them. And this happened. What the fuck? I don't think I should be high up anymore. It's not allowed. I decided to double back and defeat a boss I missed for an achievement. Back at Nakron, I didn't realize these cannonballs could follow you inside, and I really didn't realize you could destroy them. So when I got pinned here, I thought it was done for me. After wildly throwing haymakers, one of these connected. I knew there was hope. <laughs> now is the time. I will show you who's maidenless. You can run, but you can't hide. You're the lowborn. Wash my feet. Wait, that was a that was a biblical reference. That wasn't a that wasn't a king thing. I swear. Now I must find Moog and show him who the real god of blood is. But first, I must steal this chest. All I gotta do is sneak by these little fish nuggets. Okay, so they're a little stronger than I thought. After picking them off one by one and taking out this little bozo, the chest was all mine. Wow, a stone for a weapon I don't use. <laughs> Great. Moog tried to give me this monologue, but it doesn't matter because death was right around the corner for him. I will say I didn't expect my Mimic to tank so much of the damage, so that made it easy on me, I guess. Uh, you know, who knows, if I do another playthrough, maybe I'll ban the Mimic, and I'll just make a hemorrhage build. But with Mo gone, this guy didn't want to live anymore, so he went out in style. But what happened next? I never want to have to do. My, my bottom witch, Ranny, moved on to the afterlife. If she was even alive in the first place, but that's not the point. Blythe, my best friend, he went mad, and they called me to put him down. Then I ignored the death blighted bar and stepped right back into it. That these little fucking chameleon shot. So I instantly died before I even started the fight, which was a very anticlimactic. Okay, uh, where were we? You were the chosen one. It was said that you would destroy this and not join them. Bring balance to the force, not leave it in darkness. With my best friend gone, no offense Torrin, I went to live in the sewers. Countered a beast I didn't want to fight, but I won't back down. Not now, not after I've come this far. Fighting no reason to live without my wolf companion and my bottom witch gone, I threw myself at the god of death. Probably not actually his title, but he looks like it. But I won't go down without a fight, this isn't what they would have wanted. Okay, best two out of three. I traverse through the Milky Way, being the actual guardian of the galaxy. I will do this for them. My bottom witch and my first male kiss. I, I mean... Be my best friend. Hey, an achievement. Next, I decided to head into Nevergol and fight the leader of all assassins, but he didn't make it easy. His decay is very annoying, but now I get him as a summon, and that's one more towards the achievement. <laughs> Dragon Adula, we meet again! No way to run this time! I, I mean, you could probably fly away if you wanted, you're a fucking dragon, but that would be a dick move, so don't do that, okay? She listened and she gave him my heart, but the very next day... I did what I should have done a long time ago. I grabbed a mask I found laying around so I could look like my deceased best friend. To honor him. He'll always be with me, Blythe. I found this legendary spirit on a body that I think these guards forgot to protect. I was gonna tell them she isn't breathing. With my new mask and newfound power, I decided to take on the freshly 18 Falling Star Beast again. He made me a fool long enough. This boss was strictly optional and had nothing to do with any achievements. This was just personal. As all before you, you have fallen to me. I proceeded to fight Mogu the Omen, because why not fight the weaker one second? Uh, uh, okay, wait, 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 he hits kinda hard, please! But at the end of the day, no mimic needed and an achievement gained. I'll take it. I headed back to Nakaron, not realizing that the regal ancestor spirit and the normal spirit were two different bosses. Because to me, they look like the same thing with a different name, but different achievements, so let's slaughter this moose. Is it just me or does this one look a little cooler? Okay, okay. But now with Dasher down, Santa's down to three reindeer. No Christmas is here, boys. My bad. I took a nap after all this battling and was confronted by my sleep paralysis demon. 
Wait, there's two? Let's see if in the odds. I was finally woken up by Little Red Riding Hood tickling my toes. I told her no more of that. I, I didn't I didn't request her to wake me up that way. Stop looking at me. I head to the roof and take two more great runes that I've yet to use, but at least we have them. I was minding my business and found Yang again. I guess because I slaughtered Yin three times now, we had to restore the balance. I then destroyed another black blade, getting a cool weapon that I do not need. I saw a YouTube short that claimed this was the hardest enemy in the game. So I mentally prepared myself for the battle of my life. I was ready to prove that I had what it takes. Oh. Okay, I guess I got lucky. Want to see something cool? Right outside the boss battle, right before I sent the elevator shortcut down, I died. <sighs> now the long run back. Hey, yo, why are there three? They're giving me frostbite. It's okay, it's okay. We'll just focus one at a time, and we'll come out with a win. And I did just that. One, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. The achievement is mine. Call your commander Nile, because you just made me a river. What did he say? Hey! I was unprepared for my next fight, the Omen Apostle and Noble fight. I wasn't expecting my greatest nightmare, the Noble, to come out of nowhere, but they're just omens, so they're easier. And the originals are dead, and I'll never see them again, I'm sure, so we're fine. Then I turned the snail to escargot, and I was out of there. I guess you could say it was time for me to escargot out of there. <laughs> High five. Being the Dragon Slayer, I couldn't turn my back on this Frost Dragon. Uh, but of course, I choked the first time. But after getting frost by my eyes and not being able to see half the fight, I put another dragon heart in my pocket. I jumped headfirst into another Evergoal, and the gang disrespected me here. They gave me a mere mortal to feast on. That was my meal ticket, and you gave me a mortal. I make the gods quake, and you give me this five foot one peasant. I'll spit on you. Too. Another mere mortal to be decimated by the hands of thee. Is this the plan your gods had for you? So I took a break from all the fighting and bloodshed by watching a pigeon and a skinny little bear fighting endlessly on loop. I sat here for 15 minutes to see if anyone was going to win, and it just kept going. I got invaded yet again, and almost got sent to the void with 1 HP left, when I literally only needed to hit it one more time, but I did secure the kill and receive the Rivers of Blood Katana, which I hear is very good, so maybe in a new game plus I'll try it out. Moving on to the Fire Giant, he brought Pyrotechnics, like the fucking rock star I am. And for the Encore for some reason, he, he broke and ripped off his leg, a little too extreme, but also really fucking based. So he rolls around in pain and agony, and as a good friend, I put him out of his misery. I am such a good person. Another achievement under the build. I tried to escape my arsenal urges. I fled to a secret hideout I was invited to. The note was written in blood, which is weird, but points for creativity. I took refuge in an abandoned town where my demons were fighting me. They were kicking my ass for sure. Who's hitting me? I can't prove it, but I may have schizophrenia, because every now and then I swear I could see them. But I won't lose to these demons. I'll win. <laughs> Oh, ah. Ah. No, stop. I'm fighting ghosts. Okay, I can't win this way. But I heard of a rumor. A magical torch that would be the light of my life and help me see these demons. And then I can take them head on. So I paid four million runes and did some unspeakable favors. Now the torch is mine. After I conquered my demons, I found a teleporter that led me to a friendly tree that I for sure don't want to burn. After spending 15 minutes slowly making my way down the tree, I got decimated with bubbles and scarlet rot. Yeah. This is the furthest I got in a few attempts. Now stuck in limbo, this was actually a nightmare. I will burn this fucking tree. No, no, I mustn't. I finally made it to the next side of Grace after many tears. And I'm not talking crimson. I made a friend who wanted to try my toy ladder, but they couldn't wait their turn so they fell off to their death. <laughs> oh boy, are their parents gonna be mighty sore at me? I tried to leave as quick as I could so the death of my friend wasn't on my hands. But then I got punched in the back of the head. Oh boy, I got a back of the head punch coming. I just know it. I found another girl trying to join my harem. But I wasn't interested, so I was going to introduce her to my twin. But she got offended, so she almost instantly took me out. Not even to a ball game. She might as well have, because I choked and got glaved down the middle. She's just jealous of Torrent, so she won't let me bring him out to play. So I had to do the long run back for revenge. And after a few heavy punches to the sternum, she went down. And I, another chief at Richer. I tried to progress to some redhead who thinks she's the best duelist or something, I don't know. But I'm going to embarrass her. But these assholes are blocking the door. <sighs> another run back? Oh, again? <laughs> Cool. Oh my fuck. After that, I came up with a foolproof plan. I gotta climb up top of the beam, jump down behind them, and victory is mine. Okay, well, A for effort. But then it hit me. Not, not them, but I can summon here. So I'll use it as bait and just sneak by. I'm actually 500 IQ. This worked out perfectly. I found a shiny chest I wanted, so I was gonna clear these chumps, but I forgot their armor goes crazy. And then I got stuck, and, well, I then baited out two of the three, snagged the chest, and it got a rotten sword. <laughs> I died twice? <laughs> For a fucking rotten sword? The redhead they call Melenia is here. I hear people quake at the thought of her, but I will be her undoing. Just give me a couple tries, nothing else needs to be said, just watch and learn. Oh my god, we're starting! Bitch! I missed. Tragic. Oh my, oh my fucking god! Jesus Christ, you hit hard. 
Wait! Wait! What the fuck? Jesus Christ, man. I could not click B, man. Fuck. My fucking... Oh, I was so close. Fuck. Okay, that's first phase. I've already witnessed your horror, please. That killed me in one shot! I'm so out of stamina. I missed. This is crazy! This is crazy! I missed! Oh my god, man. I'm so bad at timing that shit! The second one always gets a little. Oh my, I'm just chucked my controller. I almost just fucking yeeted that bitch. Oh, I did not know that's what we were doing. I, I dodged. I dodged, pussy boy. I, I, I can't. I'm not good enough. I am not good enough for this fight. I forgot about the last one, god damn it! That's the worst move known to man. <laughs> oh my god, I got her so low. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Kill yourself, you fucking piece. Kill yourself, kill yourself, kill yourself, kill yourself. Life is not always easy. In fact, some of you today, you're here and you're going through the toughest season of your life. There will be seasons where we will suffer. There will be seasons of real pain. And the question is, how will you respond in those moments? What's your why? You need a why. Why do you need a why? Because some days you're going to say, I don't want to get up. But that why is going to say, I'll push yourself. Get up. Your mama needs you. Your daddy needs you. Your children need you. Get up. Your why is going to push you when you can't push yourself. When you want to quit and give up, your why is going to give you that edge you need, that advantage you need, that lift that you need to get to the next level. Your why. You better go inside. You still looking outside for the stuff that's already inside. You still looking for someone to save you when you already your superhero. You looking for some information from somebody when you already got what you need in your head. It's just time for you to get up and be the best version of you. As you're going through your go through and you ready to quit, you ready to give in because it don't look like you think it should look. You've been doing it for five years and it don't look like you think. You put all your money in it. You put all your time in it. People looking at you crazy. Five years you've invested. Oh! Sure enough, fuck this guy. Oh. oh. I don't care. It popped off. Fuck. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I did it. I actually did it. 33 attempts. Yeah. Yeah. I used to another summon, but it wasn't another player, and I'm proud of the win regardless. Though I was really close to start hating this game again, I swear to God. Okay, nothing can be worse than that. It's time to keep exploring. This is the beginning of the end. But first I realized I never explored the balcony of the round table hold. So my curiosity got the best of me and I found an invader. He was not expecting to meet me. That poor, poor soul. We're supposed to be a level one, oh my god. I decided to do Dung Eater's quest because we have something in common. <laughs> Wait, you don't think I eat shit, do you? <laughs> oh no, no, no. We both defile corp- Anyway, I let this upstanding citizen go out into the real world after being falsely imprisoned. Then I found a note he left behind, threatening me with a good time, so who am I to refuse? After a good spar with my pal, I returned to his little nest. He looked at me and said, <laughs> We're the same, you and I. And I could not agree more. And hey, maybe a nice coffee shop next time, huh? He enjoyed it so much, he suggested turning off the lights so we can get a little more comfortable. He even gave me a curse to remember him by. I left and came back after resting so I could take his clothes off again, but this time I'ma keep him. I discovered I needed to go back to Caleb for a legendary weapon. So I slept this misbegotten and supposer night, and the weapon was mine. Oh, okay, time for a restraining order, because this is the fourth time the stalker has invaded me. And she'll get the same response each time. Death! I turned my back on her falling body just to show her she isn't worth it. Walk away, bitch. But not 10 seconds later, another friend comes to play. At least he had the courtesy to give me some clothes for my trouble. I found another one of those dragonfly, baby eye, teleporting, cocaine snorting, astral beast. Hmm. 
I feel like I've seen one of these before, but with a little elbow grease, I gave him the works, and it was on the house. This one's on the house. Ah, one of them was the void, and one of them was the darkness. It is different. I found this other Leonine wannabe, and I put him to shame, which granted me another legendary weapon, one step closer to the achievement. I went back to grab a legendary summit I forgot in the catacombs, and oh my god, is this a one-shot challenge? Getting here took 20 times longer. May he rest in peace! Living up to my title, I saw another dragon I give no exception, so he must be slain. He didn't want to make it easy. And why is his fire radius so wide on a narrow bridge, please? Anyway, his heart is mine, and mine his. Wait, so I found these catacombs where there's a Civil War reenactment, where I proceeded to jump higher than Jordan himself and paid dearly? After enacting my revenge, I found my way to another mini-boss. A tree spirit, yay, haven't seen seven of those. And let me tell you, I'm talking shit, but this guy was a DPS player. I mean, he would not stop hurting me even when I asked really nicely. I, I said, please stop hurting me, and he said, I'm gonna keep hurting you, and I said, no! But I came out with another win and earned a legendary summon. And then I went to a temple where I found my long-lost dance partner, where we danced in the field for hours and hours. I mean, I thought we were dancing, but he just didn't know when to quit. I then traversed to the end where I found a shadowy warrior who couldn't be hit, so I had to take him to a light spot. We took a little calculated shortcut while I ran for my life, and once I got him right where I wanted him, the rest was easy. All that for a puny human that can't even lay a blade on me? Pathetic. But I got another legendary summon for the achievement. I continued my journey onto the invisible bridge, and something incredible came from my stupidity. Thank God Torrent didn't skip front leg day and held on for dear life. This allowed me to fast travel away. After actually making my way across the bridge and up the tower, I get one of the last legendary sorceries I need. Now it's time for Ronnie's weird scavenger hunt. I had to body a turtle, another turtle, and another invisible turtle I had to look up because my turtle was bugged and not showing, but nonetheless I got it. And this gave me Ronnie's Dark Moon, unlocking the all legendary sorceries and incantations achievement. I then backtracked to the Halig Tree to grab one of the last talesmen I need, but something in me is stirring. <sighs> Everything is hot, I can't hold back anymore, I need the beauty of the flame, the tree must burn and my hair and will do my bidding. Because my matches won't work, I tried. Hey yo, she didn't tell me she was gonna burn up too! Hey, my psycho tendencies got me achievement. Uh, do I even need to say anything? <laughs> I found a dragon, and even though I could barely see his health bar, I erased him. I found this weird octopus little thing, and I wanted to grab his tentacles, but he wouldn't let me, so I decided to slay him instead for no other reason than curiosity. But he didn't drop anything cool, and I slayed his little babies around him too, but he didn't like that. I was minding my business one afternoon, and unbeknownst to me, I was attacked by not one, but two thugs. Wait, I've seen these goobers before. Two other times, as a matter of fact. You've seen this before? Eleven times, as a matter of fact. Well, they don't know how to take a hint, but little do they know, I had a friend of my own. Well, I did, and I had to kill him. So instead, I summoned my doppelganger and show these bozos what true friendship looks like. My plan was simple. My doppelganger distracts one, and I focus on the other one. While I worked on the little supple brother first, the thick brother with doppelganger over there was busy. Then when I made light work of mine, I went to go help my doppelganger. But of course, slaying them both does not end the fight. I had to deplete the combined health bar. So I wait for one to spawn back and flood him with attacks before his partner could tag in. And almost with ease, I earned my 7th gym badge and gain another achievement. Only thing to do now is put their bodies in my backpack before I go. I just want to make sure they don't come back, okay? It's like the fourth time. Again, I had to slay another poor dragon. It's second nature at this point. I'm sure there can't be a dragon harder than these, right? Can we just talk about how many dragons are in this game? It's actually crazy. Speaking of dragons, I found another knight that was mad that I took his dragon kill. So he threw everything he had at me, but then it clicked. This dude can blow fire and fly, so he must be a dragon in disguise. So I decided I had to beat him. And before he could transform back into his true form, I slayed him. Not today, dragon man. I ran into another friend who seemed to be unhappy with me, but he seemed familiar. I haven't fought him before. Wait, I know who you are. You dropped the last legendary weapon I need for the achievement, the scepter. I looked up what weapon I was missing, and it turned out it was one from the very start of the game. And when I went back to get it, he was gone. <gasps> he must have wanted to deliver it to me personally. Oh, you are a dear friend after all. Give it here. And the legendary armament achievement was mine. A few steps later, I killed these three shield-bearing hunchbacks in order to secure one of the last legendary talisman I needed. On my way to another boss, I encountered one of my arch nemesis -s 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 a draconic tree sentinel. Torrent won't be needed this time. After slowly chipping his health and embarrassing him, I destroyed him and stripped his body for everyone to see. That wasn't for the achievement, that was just for me. Wow, what an unsuspecting normal hooded man. I'm sure there's nothing weird going on. <laughs> wait, 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 what's, what's going on? Why are you stabbing your hand? <gasps> oh my god. His hair is beautiful. 
Well, this is the famous Malekith, huh? Well, I guess he lived up to his den because his blade was indeed black. After murking me a couple times in some acrobatics, I showed him I'm the one with nine lives. And I stole his blade. And now they have to call me Malekith the Black Blade because your name changes when you take it. His name used to be George. The capital city is Ash. Can't help but feel a tiny, little, tiny, tiny bit responsible. But I'm probably being too hard on myself. It could have been anything that caused this. I mean, I've killed like 20 dragons so far. Point the finger at them. Hey, it's Gideon. For some reason, he started giving me a lecture of how he's going to put me down or something. I don't know. I just started buffing in front of him to show the end is near. I just want to talk to him. Wait. Why do you have a shotgun? I just want to talk to him. Being all-knowing, he should have known I was about to whoop his ass. He should have known I wouldn't have let him move. I didn't need the mimic to help. I called him just to have him watch how a true lord stands on business. After sneaking my way past two useless tree spirits, I grabbed my last talisman I need for the all-legendary talisman achievement. I proceeded to fight some guy named Godfrey, which is not to be mistaken with Godfrey the Oban, or Godric, or Godric, or Roderick, because he rules. This was actually the first Elden Ring. He kept calling himself a lord, but the game is called Elden Ring, so he obviously knows nothing. This guy had such a slow wind-up, it would make even Margit proud. But then, something insane happened. No! Wait, 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 wait! He killed the lion! We just became best friends and he was taken from me! I will let this hate fuel me. Godfrey, horror, whatever your name is, prepare for your last breath. Well, after he was done using my body as a basketball, his life was mine. The previous Elden Ring is gone. It's my time to shine. But I needed a rest. I went to Fia for some comfort and asked her why her champions attacked me earlier. Well, she said it was a test, and I passed. And now she would join my harem. Everything in the universe is in order. Wait, what do you mean you have to do one more task? Huh. Well, little does she know I've slain countless dragons, and this one would meet the same fate. As cool as the dragon looked, it was no match for the dragon slayer. Then when I came back, Fia must have been tired. She looked a little warm, so I took her clothes as an upstanding citizen. God, the charges are gonna stick this time. Speaking of dragons, there was a rumor, and it's only a rumor, of a dragon terrorizing the city who is currently sleeping underground. Who else are they gonna call? Maybe someone who doesn't miss the jump down. Oh, this should be easy. I've demolished any dragon place before me. Why would this be any different? Wait, no one said this one has two heads! This changes everything! It uses teleportation and holy breath and lightning and lightning claws! I don't stand a chance! Oh, there's a run back. There's a run back. Not a crazy one, but I've been spoiled by this game. I don't do run backs. And this dude has freaking lasers? Freaking laser beams attached to their heads! The mimic can't be much help because of the dragon's AoE attacks, but I keep him around for emotional support now that Fia's taking a dirt nap. Okay, that's not entirely true. He did take a couple of the diving attacks and chunked a little of his health, so I guess he was there for me even when I couldn't see it. I guess, in a way, I'm my own best friend. No offense, Torrid, but no matter how close I got, the dragon would prove to be a worthy adversary. And anytime I got too close, poof, teleported away. I guess you could say, <laughs> I got a little frustrated at this fight. I clicked, I clicked the fucking button. I wanted to give up. The run back gives me time to think about all my failures and I didn't like it. But I would not be defeated by a filthy dragon. Two heads or not. It's time to finish this thing. It is done. No more dragons or dragon type beast. I'm sure of it. I must be getting close to the end of the game. I found this golden mist, so it must be one of the last bosses. So I want to prove something to myself. Not to the diehard souls enthusiast, but just to me. I wanted to defeat this boss with no summons. One of the final bosses. If I could do that, that means maybe I'm okay at this game. And I've learned that I came a long way on my hero's journey. I don't care how long it takes. Let's try it. Radagon is it? I'll show you my might. And just my might. <sighs> He's got the Elden Ring on. Oh, I, I didn't get a chance to move. Click that. Best two out of three. Radagon proved to be a worthy opponent. Maybe I am bad at this game. Maybe I learned nothing after being struck down again and again and again and again. But maybe, just maybe with some willpower, I can do the unthinkable. And I did just that. And then something incredible happened. I didn't need any help. I'm so proud of myself for that. I almost choked like three times there at the end. Wait, is there actually a second half? Or is that him, like, dying? I'll throw up. If, this, if there's a second half, a uh, Mimic's coming out to play. I don't like this cutscene, man. There's a fucking second half. Oh, is this the Elden Beast? Oh, it's the first half, Radagon? Oh, I don't have any healing left. <laughs> My hands are numb. I just got trolled so hard. <laughs> That's right. 
That's right, I thought Radagon was one of the last bosses. I did not know he was phase one of the last boss fight of the game. But it matters not, I achieved my goal. I showed myself I can take on Radagon alone. But now, my Mimic's coming out to play. Because if there's a phase two and I was struggling that much on phase one, Radagon did give me a little more trouble. But I did make it back to the beast. And I would not let it get in my way. It was time for the Elden Beast to go home. The only thing I heard about this boss was jump over the runes that appear on the ground. I mean, I guess I can do that. Well, sometimes. I kept my strategy of hugging tight to big enemies so they have trouble hitting me. And my Mimic did great work tanking the hits. The end seemed to be near. The ring will be mine. My precious. And then just like that. I did it. I beat the last boss. But what is the sadness I feel? Shouldn't I be happy and triumphant? I guess the only thing left to do is back up my save so I can experience all the endings. Maybe when that's happening, I'll give you my final thoughts on the game. First, I decided to do my bottom witch Rani's ending. Her quest was lengthy but well worth it for how beautiful the scenery was. I couldn't help but stop and take some screenshots. And with that, I got the Age of the Stars ending. Next, I was interested in seeing Dung Eater's ending versus what I believe to be Fia's ending. And I didn't go back and do the standard one because I was sick of reloading the saves and I could just look that one up. But it was interesting seeing the different color palette use the dark and sinister palette of the Dung Eater's ending versus the light and misty and almost calming one of Fia's. <laughs> but neither of them compared to the Lord of the Frenzy's Flame ending. But while the ending is playing, I'm going to give you my final thoughts of this game, if you've made it this far. I'll say it. Elden Ring is simply a masterpiece. Elden Ring changed the way I look at games. Not in the way where I'm obsessed with Souls-like games. Not that I want to just jump in and play every Souls game. Even though I probably will do something like this on Dark Souls eventually. And maybe even Sekiro if I get the mental strength to do that. But it gave me confidence to take on harder challenges in games. For example, I've picked up and put down The Witcher about 3-4 to four times with 3 hours total. Because it seems hard and I didn't understand the controls of it. But if I managed to figure out Elden Ring and I stuck with it, with the help of my friends and the plentiful content found from the community across all platforms, then I'm sure I can conquer seemingly easier games. It's the same thing with Star Wars The Fallen Order. I bought it on release not knowing it was a Souls-like, I just like Star Wars. And I've picked it up and put it down like 10 times, because I didn't understand the concept of a Souls game. But now I can go happily enjoy it and destroy the game because there's no way it can be harder than fighting someone like Melania. And I would be baffled if any fight in there took me more than 30 times to beat. I finally understood Elden Ring. It's as easy as you want it to be to an extent, with the summons and it giving you an open world model allowing you to level up as much as you want before any fight. That in itself is easy mode. You don't need an easy mode mod. If you're willing to just farm runes and level up early, you will have a much easier time than someone who wants to slay the tree sentinel right out of spawn. And I'm sure I'm repeating what everyone's said so far, but I do love Elden Ring. And I'll certainly do another playthrough with a new class, but for now, I might move on to another Souls-like or just go back to what I love, achievement hunting. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean there's a DLC coming out for this game? If you made it to the end, I appreciate you so much. If you did enjoy, consider leaving a like. Between editing, playing, writing the script, recording the script, this has taken an incredibly long time, but it was definitely worth it to me. And I truly hope you enjoyed. I would love to read your thoughts about Elden Ring in the comments. It's been your stick from Simtex. Thank you. And good night.